Not only have Nantes failed to win any of their league and games in 2015, they've only managed to score one goal. The Canaries may not have been too thrilled to host Inform Bastia on Saturday. The Corsicans, who have been reborn under Gilles Printemps, are unbeaten in their last 12 games in all competitions. It was the men in yellow who were the first to look dangerous, though. A chance here for Shakir Aladour after Alejandro Bedoya's effort was blocked, but nothing too complicated for Alphonse Ariola. Vincent Bessa then picking up the ball on the left for Nantes, looking for Bedoya, but in the end it came out to Issa Sissoko. It was a clean connection, but he just couldn't get it on target. Well, it was hardly a champagne stuff from Michel Desacarian's men. And it was, in fact, the visitors Bastia who took the lead on the half-hour mark with an incredible counter-attack. Julian Palmieri for Francois Camano and a lovely ball for Giovanni Sio. Claiming his first goal in Bastia Colors. Sio, who was born close to Nantes and actually came through the youth system with the Canaries. But how about that? And as you can see, onside, a simple counter-attack, as you'll see. And Sio with his first league and goal since back in May 2013 when he was playing for Socho. More importantly, Bastia taking a 1-0 lead in at half-time. Whistles ringing out around Le Bourgeois. And a double substitution for Nantes. Bamu and Bessa making way for Georges Kevin Enkadu and Fernando Aristigueta. Aristigueta, who recently returned from a loan spell with Getafe after the departure of Ite Shekta, but he hardly had the impact that Desacarian would have been hoping for. Just four minutes after coming on, shown a straight red card for that lunge on Sebastian Scalacci. Well, Gael Danik also making way for Floyd Aite in the 72nd minute. At this time, the substitute had the intended effect. Aite coming forward here. Getting the shot away, and that was 2-0 to Bastia in the 75th minute. Just three minutes after coming onto the pitch. A neat 1-2 with Riyad Boudabouz. Not closed down by the Nantes defence. And poor goalkeeping from Remy Rieu as well. Just about sums it up for Nantes. Their miserable run continues as it finished at 2-0. So Bastia now 13 games unbeaten in all competitions.